Hey guys, this is GTI Z-Lock coming at you. Uh, we're here for episode two of uh, Geek Tech Industries presentation of Dawn of the Galaxy. This is Empyrean um, Galactic Survival 6.0, uh, 6.1 something, I don't know, 6 anyway. Uh, wow, I am in blackness. Let's see what's going on. And I'm drowning. Now, where I left off was at the bottom of a lake. So I should be at the bottom of a lake. Um, as you saw in the first episode, I, I basically just ran to the lake and jumped in the water and proceeded to gather up a bunch of resources. So right now we started with a, an emergency O2 generator, which I've been powering up and I've been getting bottles. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm only at a 10% quality source, which I think it makes production slower. I think that's how that correlates. Anyway, it's fast enough to actually uh, maintain. Now, what I plan on doing is is trying to, um, let's throw another Promethium in there. That gives us two, almost three hours of oxygen production. Good. Uh, let's check our stat. I, I seem to recall I gathered a whole bunch of stuff and now it's, it's spinning up. Perfect. Um, Got a lot of seaweed. So right now, what I'm actually doing is I'm constructing the what I need to actually build a base. Uh, and I think what I want to do is I'm actually, I have a prefab base that I've made in another, um, in a multiplayer session that seems to work pretty good. I'll, I'll just get into my blueprints here. So I have one called my cement hole starter. Um, it unlocks at level 10, unfortunately. Uh, cement hole locks at level 12, but that one requires Zecosium and Arrestrium, which I'm not gonna be able to get. This one's a lot cheaper, as you can see. Um, it has a lot less requirements, but that'll give me a large constructor um, and basically a base to start living out of. So my goal today is to get to level 10. Um, I'm going to put this to the factory. And now I can actually start throwing stuff in here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into third person view here. So I'm going to grab the concrete blocks. Um, I'm going to grab a bunch of the iron. I'm going to grab some of the copper, cobalt, and silicone. Okay. Okay, excellent. Actually, you know what? I'll throw the core in there too. That'll make production time faster. So whenever you put actual components into a factory, it speeds up the production time so I'll show you when I get in there I'll, I'll take these just to show you that it'll increase decrease production time go back into my blueprint so it requires 552 rock dust well I think these concrete blocks should count towards it now it's if I just put in the actual what it says literally if i put in rock dust copper ingots cobalt ingots iron ingots and silicone ingots to the required amount it would take nine minutes and 55 seconds let's try some pre-constructed concrete blocks so they it was about half of the requirement oh look at that and it reduced the time by quite a bit so let's throw these other concrete blocks in and we're almost up to the required amount. Uh, I'm going to throw the core in. You can see it's reducing the time, the whole amount, and it actually uh, added to the quantity needed. Put these metal components in. Put this electronics in. 
you can see we're down to a three minute spin up time if I just started throwing ingots in now. Um, well, I mean, realistically, it's not going to require a lot. So let's grab these, throw them in, and I'm just going to top it up to the required amount. So that's all the silicone we're going to need. We're going to need another 80 some odd iron. So let's top up the iron. And you can see adding the ingots do not increase the total production or do not reduce the total production time. So just completed blocks do or completed components, sorry. Blocks help too. So um, actual full on, like let's say if I put like a generator in there, it would actually reduce the time and count towards the total count. Okay, cobalt ingots. We're short on cobalt. Uh, the copper, we're pretty close on. Let's just top that up. Okay. Okay. So, I need some more cobalt and a little bit more rock dust. And it would be a three minute construction queue. Let's take a look at where I'm at. I'm halfway through level eight. So I think what I need to do is swim around a little bit more, get some more seaweed, smash some more rocks, and we should hit level 10 and be able to spawn this thing. Okay, I'm going to go back into my constructor here and put this stuff back in. Okay, so we've got well over a thousand iron ingots now, even though that we've topped up our base. So that'll go towards uh, spawning a, um, an HV and an SV. Okay. Let that all keep spinning up. Okay. So we need to... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop... Or not drop, but I'm going to unarm myself and swim up to the surface just to take a look. I know it's really hard to see, folks, but that's just... I don't have... That's that's it for light. <laughs> I know, horrible. Okay, let's take a look in the map. Um, I'm pretty sure I started digging my hole somewhere around, along here. So let's make our way over there and see if we can find the the hole I was digging. Now I can't tell if I have my my shoulder light it's not really yeah now you can see the darkness of the mountains up against the the night sky as we get closer to shore my shoulder light should start picking up the shore later on um, hopefully we'll loot some, okay, so that's the shore. And you can see my shoulder light is very limited, but without it, it's nothing. So, okay, what I need to do is find, Oh, there's nasties over there. I could hear them. Did you hear that? There's the hole I dug. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. No. Sink. He can walk on water, apparently. Uh, wow, that sucks. Something really evil at the entrance to my hole that I dug. Okay. I'm going to have to deal with him. I'm going to have to deal with him. How much ammo do I got? A lot. Okay. 
Okay. So let's equip my rifle. And we'll climb back up. I'm just going to go over the other side a little bit further. Make sure I'm, yep, okay. Figures there'd be a, oh, I can hear him right beside me. Really? Really? Is he like walking on the water? I gotta try and kill him. I have to try and kill him. <sighs> if he injects me with a parasite, I'm gonna die. Food poisoning, poisonous bite. So if he bites me with poison, I can get rid of it with my antidote pills. Um, oh, same with the uh, small med kit can get rid of food poisoning. Well, food poisoning, but my antidote pills will get rid of the poisonous bite if he has a poisonous bite. If he injects me with a alien disease, I might be in trouble. I can't see him. Let's reload our gun. God damn. Okay, reload. Holy crap, they did a hundred hundred points of damage in one attack? Uh, <laughs> this is a tough tough scenario. <sighs> okay, how am I gonna do this? There was two of them now. This is uncool. I wish it was a little lighter out. I could deal with this, maybe. If we come over. It sounds like he's like right in front of me. Okay, let's swim to surface, see what the hell's going on. So there's that guy doing some sort of spinorama. Okay, they're both on the shore there. God damn it. How am I going to do this? I got to get them away from my hole. Okay, let's swim over here. Are they following me? What's going on? What I gotta do is break line of sight. Okay, they mellowed out. I think they broke line of sight. See him off in the. Okay. So let's swim over here. Oh my god, those are all critters, really? Uh, sun's just about to come out. That's going to help. That's going to help. Oh, there's some big dude right there. 
Thing I gotta, really, they're on the water? Maybe they're stuck there. Let's see if I can kill him. I shoot at. Killed that one. Bugger's tough. This bugger is real tough. Okay, so I gotta break his. Oh. Look at that. A floater. Oh, he's sinking. Okay, I got some meat. Got some meat. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, let's, um, I need oxygen and food, so let's just, let's go back to the constructor. I'll cook up this food. Sounds like he's, like, on top of me walking in the water. Uncool. Uncool. These guys have like no boundaries. Okay, get back to my constructor. So you can see why I do the water thing because it's just easier. There's a place to run away. They don't come into the water. They seem to walk on top of it though. Um, which is actually I was not expecting that. No matter. We'll deal with it. Let's make some salami. Uh, that way I don't have to just keep eating seaweed. Plus salami heal will heal me a little bit. So let's eat this as it constructs it. You can see my food level going up. My health going up a little bit. Okay, so maxed out on food. Pick a bunch of air. I'll grab this to carry with me. Keep doing the air. And one more bottle. Okay. Okay, not too, too bad. How are we doing on there? We've got some more. Good. I'll leave some in there just in case I die. Okay. Let's head back and try and kill that guy. I've got 470 bullets. I know I got some good beefy shots in the face to him. I could see it. I could see the green oozing blood spraying out of him as I shot, so I know I hit him. Just not enough. Now, I don't hear him screeching and complaining. So I might have... He might not be trained on to me. Now, when I... When I say trained on to me, that's kind of an old Diablo term. Uh, I hear him. God, he's really close, isn't he? Okay, let's go over this way. Try and pull him along the shore. The only... I can't actually shoot. See, it says you cannot shoot this weapon underwater. So I, if I'm in the water, I can't actually shoot. I think I have to be... My head has to be out of the water to be able to shoot. So let's see. Let's see. 
We'll get to the surface. Hopefully he... God, it sounds like he's, like, following me. Let's see. Well, let's turn my jetpack on. It's a different guy! Really? Wow, oh, there's two of them! I can jump out of the water, see that? Oh, okay, get a little closer. Oh, get some beefy shots in. Reload. And reload. And beat shots, beat shots. Holy crap, these guys are tough. Oh, God damn, I don't know if I'm going to have the bullets to kill two of these guys. I'm even headshotting them. Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> How many times have I hit him? Oh, killed one of them. Okay. Reload. Getting XP for shooting them. Okay. Let's reload. What is that? Oh, I can actually loot him. <laughs> Thanks for your buddy's bits. I almost got him, I think. Bullets. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, obviously not that guy. Oh, he fell right on top of his buddy. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Oh that wasn't even him! Shit, there he is over in the water. Okay, okay, we got to deal with this. We got to clear this area. I got to get into my, my tunnel and spawn my base. I got to make sure it's clear or else... It's kind of a crazy area for all these assassins to be... Oh, look at... What? Oh, shit, there's another guy there. Let's see if I can... Recharge. Oh, meaty blows to the face. He was a red one. He seemed to be tougher. Okay, I'm going to have to kill this guy over here too, I think. Wow, it's just infested. How's a guy supposed to do anything? Okay, that's the hole I dug. That's how I got all that um, stone, which I'm actually going to have to get more of. Uh, oh, crap. Recharge. Okay, is he going to walk on the water? No. 
Oh, is he? Yes, he is. Damn it. These, so these, that particular type walk on water. <sighs> that makes it a lot harder. Makes it a lot harder. I gotta break his. Well, I'm almost ninth level because of it. <laughs> okay, he's totally trained on me. I gotta, I gotta break that first. If I go deep enough, he'll lose Elo line of sight. Okay. I can hear him. I don't see him dancing anymore. So let's, um, let's see if I can go, uh, talk him into doing a dance with me again. They want to smash all those rocks. I got to take out this guy, though. I think if I don't keep this area clear in front of my uh, hole that I dug, I'm going to have problems. And I need to get in there to actually dig some more to get some more uh, rocks out of it. So we'll go up here. Down to 266 bullets with 20 in the chamber. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this. I don't know what's going on with all those shadows. Okay, he's way over there. Let's see if I can target him. Yep. Shit. What? How many headshots does it take to kill these things? Ridiculous. Holy crap. What the hell? Okay, so let's see. See, he walks on water. He walks on water. Fucking walk on water? Come on! Uh, walking on water. What are they? Freaking Jesus aliens. Oh, oh, he gave up. He gave up. I'm not sure why he gave up. Let's try, let's try my jump technique. I don't think it'll work on the red guys though. Frick did he go? Screw it. I'm gonna beeline for the cave, try and dig some more out. I just need a little bit more stone. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I think I cleared this area out. <sighs> okay. Let's try drone digging again. Because there's that pecker head. He can't sink into the water. I mean, realistically, what I should do is kill him, but I'm getting a little low on bullets. So this is what I've dug so far. I think I'm ready to actually do the base placement thing. I just need more rock. Okay, so let's mine this out a little bit more. The great thing about jumping into a lake right away and 
and getting seaweed and rocks is, you can see I, I actually have enough biofuel now because of the seaweed to, to pretty much do whatever I want in the way of drilling. Um, that can be a real problem in some of the other starter planets where it's hard to get seaweed, like, like Ninges. Although this is not a typical survival start, this is the dawn of the galaxy scenario, and I can't see the way. Out. Oh, there it is. Okay. Drill in. Get up stones. Pretty much got a lot of digging to do for, for the base that I plan on spawning, so. Oh, let's eat something here. Another salami. I've got 17 minutes to cook that up too, which I should do before it goes bad, then I'll have more salami. Okay, really no rocks, okay. Just keep digging, just keep digging. This is kind of the grindy part of the game, doing stuff like that, digging, digging out a hole for your base, uh, gathering resources, that can be really grindy, so it's just kind of, tedious and boring sometimes. Pick up these rocks. Okay, how many rocks do I got now? 24. I know I didn't need much and that'll produce quite a bit of rock. That'll create a bunch more concrete blocks. So it's probably enough, but I still got a lot more digging to do actually. So when I what I plan on doing, I'm going to spawn the base inside this tunnel. So it'll, and it'll be buried in there. I'm going to have to like dig it out afterwards. So if I dig out as much as possible right now, then I'll be uh, a step up, so to speak. So I just need to uh, dig out some more. I've got lots and lots of biofuel. I'm not worried about running out of out of fuel from my drill. I'm worried about dying from critters. That's why I'm hiding in the water. It's funny how you can actually get really turned around in here because everything looks the same. There we go. Okay, a little bit more. And I'll probably have to make, once I get the base up and running, I'm gonna have to make some base defenses because there's just so many critters that I'm, I'm gonna have no choice but to actually put in some like sentry guns or something. Okay, okay, so I think we've got to get enough hole started. So let's head back to the survival constructor. We'll cook up that food. We'll get the um, the stones ground down and, and build some um, concrete blocks with them. The survival constructor allows us to make some very basic building blocks. Um, Basically, just enough to get a, a base started. It's really hard to see down here. The uh, grass at the bottom of this lake is really tall. And this isn't even one of the big lakes. There's, there's, a, there's a couple of bigger lakes on this planet that I was looking at that might have had a better potential, but this, but since there's rocks and seaweed in this lake, I don't really need to uh, go too much further. Okay, where's my gear? There it is. 
Okay, how's my oxygen levels? Good, good, good. Let's breathe some of that. Fill up our suit. Okay, get into the survival constructor, get this meat put in there, get the stones put in there. We'll grind up the meat first. Get the slum eaten. I'll eat another one. You can see it gives me health too. So salami gives 10 health. When not all food give health. Um, like seaweed stacks do not give health. See, that's zero health. Um, they help against food poisoning. And they have a perish time of 30, stamina 20. The salami is food of 100, health of 100, perish time of 70, stamina 10. So it doesn't actually help towards any conditions other than healing you. That's okay. That's okay. It's food. It's much needed food. Okay, so let's grind up some concrete blocks. You can see that I can't automatically queue them up because it needs cement. So let's find where I make cement. Cement right there needs rock dust. So rock dust needs crushed stone, so I'm going to queue up that crushed stone. And I'm going to need extra uh, cement blocks anyway, so I'm going to queue up. So it costs two rock dust to make one cement, so I'm going to get that going. Let's see. Certain things are really fast to construct in the uh, survival constructor, but most things are quite slow. So it actually gives you the craft time of the template, so 1.1 seconds. You can see that takes uh, 5.6 seconds, that's 5.6 seconds, 2.2 seconds. Okay. Now, what did our what did we need again? We needed thirty-two rock dust. So that's probably not very many cement blocks. So let's let's take a look. We'll just let that grind down into. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to DQ most of this. We'll just let that spin up to seven. Okay, now I'm going to make some concrete blocks. Requires one cement, takes 1.1 seconds. So one cement per concrete block. It requires two rock dust per cement, so that's two rock dust per concrete block. Uh, it requires five crushed stone for 20 rock dust which would make 10 so 5 crushed stone makes 10 cement blocks ok good to know I'm just building a whole bunch of cement blocks I'm going to need more once I get the base in to expand it out a little bit more So we'll let that spin up. Okay, almost. Let's 
So 70. Let's go back into our blueprint. Uh, let's just add one concrete block at a time. And it's decreasing my my production time, each block I put in. And okay, so we need three more cobalt. Three more cobalt. I'm almost level nine. I got no unlock points except for one, so I, I need to level to unlock there. Uh, Cobalt. Okay. So. I need three cobalt. One, two, three. Now you can see the start production time. The start production button did not activate because I am not level 10 yet. I can't actually build this until I'm level 10. So. Let's put this stuff back in the constructor. Uh, I'll keep the salami with me. It's not going to matter if it's in the constructor or not. It's going to perish at the same speed. I don't have a fridge yet. So right now, what we should do is go around, smash. We should just pick more seaweed, smash rocks, um, get to level ten. We need we need level ten. So what I need to do is I need to head towards the center of the lake again. I think that's where most of the seaweed and rocks are. Um, not seeing any. Not really seeing any. Did I like, does it not respawn in this scenario? Maybe rocks and seaweed don't respawn. Um, that could be a problem. I see a rock over there. Okay. Time to smashy smash. I mean, once I get my base up and an HV, um, the resource gathering will be a joke, really. It'll be super easy. Oops, can't go into... So I'm trying to drill it. That was stupid. What I do is set it to stone. And there we go. I only get a tiny little bit of XP if I actually... Let's see, I got 12 XP, I guess, because... I two things dropped. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, picking up stuff. Didn't even see it. So there's hidden little treasures in the seaweed beds. Which I'm not really seeing. Okay, it's sloping up there. Let's unequip everything so I can swim. Get a better lay of the land or of the uh, seaweed, so to speak. So, just gonna keep swimming around here. I should probably make more ammo for my gun because that jerk is up there wanting to eat me. Just not seeing any. I mean, this is a small lake. I, I, I thought I thought I was getting lots of seaweed before from it, so I'm not really Okay. My gear. Let's head towards this side. I'm just not seeing any seaweed or rocks at all. This is not good. This is not good. <sighs> I'm going to have to get out and shoot more things, really. I'm not very good at that. Let's 
let's, let's skirt the edge here. Check my map. Yeah, we'll go along the, sometimes, oh, I see some seaweed. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're getting to some seaweed again. Okay, good. Good, good. Oh, level nine, level nine. One more level. The seaweed is actually, there we go. Now we're finding seaweed and rocks again. Okay, okay, thank God. I was getting a little worried. Oh yeah, lots of seaweed here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, definitely smash the stones as I find them. So I'll just equip my drill that'll force me to sink to the ground because then I can't swim anymore. Good stuff out of there. Good, good. Right now we just need it all. We need everything. So I'm still in the survival aspect of the game because I haven't actually made a base yet and I'm I'm trying to collect materials to make a base in the same time trying to, to live. Um, so my oxygen and food are definitely something to, to take into account. Uh, climate too, uh, because I'm swimming around in the water, you can't really see, but here, I'll climb out of the water for a second. And wow, it's a lot deeper than I thought. It's a much deeper lake than, than it looks. So I'm, it's 12 degrees in the water. At a radiation level of 3.5. My suit I'll show you this. My suit can actually handle between negative 25 and 60 degrees with a radiation of 8. Currently the way it sits. So I can handle these numbers. No problem. Hmm. I hear something over there. I switched my gun. So we'll get out of the water. See that the temperature just doubled, went up to 20. So that's the trading station there. I haven't been there yet. I'm, I have a sneaky suspicion that the POI, I think there was a POI in behind it that is probably too close to it and it's probably gonna kill me if I get too close. So that could be a problem. And the sun's going down. No. No, don't go down. Don't go down. Okay, I'm going to get back in the water then. Switch back to my drill. Real nasty stuff comes out at night. And I'm not sure if it despawns or, or not. I don't think it does. I think i got to kill it. Well, we'll just we'll just continue to pick seaweed here. I mean, I'm getting good XP for for picking the seaweed, so I can tax it. Some stones. Yeah, the seaweed is giving me tons of XP. Who knew you could get to level 10 by picking seaweed, right? Just 
keep going. Get all those resources. That's a seaweed. Excellent, excellent. It's really funny. Seaweed is is like a critical part of the game when you first start and you're in survival mode. But as soon as you get an HV up and going, um, especially one that can drill, the seaweed is like you probably won't even ever gather it again. It's so critical at the beginning and and basically worthless after that. Smashing these rocks on the CV. Some of these rocks are actually multiple rocks all layered on each on top of each other, which is kind of funky. How did I survive? By smashing rocks and picking weeds. Hmm. What's, what's our level at? We're about a third of the way through ninth already. I like it. I'm getting decent amount of resources too while we're in here let's eat some more of our salami get some oxygen that's why I like having a surplus on me so when I'm out and about I don't have to race back to the oxygen supply Okay, we're back to livable standards. Now I can tell if a rock actually gives me anything because if I smash it and I get no XP, then, then it didn't produce anything. See, I got XP there. There it is, it was a piece of iron. Got XP there. Saw something fall there, some silicone. And out of fuel. Let's put some more fuel in. And by the look of it, so, so I'm getting 6 XP per resource that comes out of a rock. So, oh, maybe. I don't know, 14? Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Maybe certain resources are worth it. Oh, it's really glowy. There we go. There's lots of stuff down here. I can't see it, but I, I'm picking it up, whatever it is. I'm just spamming the F button to pick things up even if I can't see them. Oh, two rocks in a row chipped me off. Now, I don't remember 
I, I thought I smashed all the rocks fairly close around my gear. I'm, I'm thinking these are only spawning. I mean, I know seaweed respawns. It, it regrows. But... I... I'm really... So it's really hard to see, I know. Sorry, guys. If I had night vision, it would be better. And during the day, the light shines down through the water and you can see better, too. Okay, let's see where I am. That was sort of in the center. So let's go this direction. Let's see, I'm picking up stuff without actually seeing it. So I'm just spamming my F button. <laughs> it's it's horrible to see i know guys i you're in the same boat i am i just can't freaking see Almost halfway through ninth. God, it's just so hard to see. Gotta drop the drill and just try and swim above this a bit, I think. That doesn't really help either. My shoulder light is not going far enough. If I went and equipped a flashlight, I would actually sink to the bottom. Because I'd have something in my hand then, so I'm just relying my on my shoulder light, which really sucks, actually. Now there are lots of ways of generating light in this game. There's different type, you know. There's portable work lights. There's base lights. There's flashlights. There's there's headlights on vehicles, and they all have a different range and intensity to them. Um, so there's a lot of ways of actually generating light. Unfortunately, all I've got right now is my shoulder light on my suit. But it's better than nothing. See, if I didn't have my shoulder light, that's what I would see. <laughs> at least, at least I have something. At least something. Can't really see. Oh, God, doing this at night sucks. Can't see. I can't see at all. I just want seaweed. Give me more seaweed. Uh, I probably would have. I probably should have went over to the bigger lake. I wouldn't have these uh, these harvesting resource um, issues in a larger lake. I just need to get to level ten. Once I get to level ten, that base up and running, I can spawn an HV and. And then my resource woes will be over. <sighs> Come on, really? Really? Hmm. Okay, well, this really sucks. I think what I'm going to do, because uh, this is just going to be boring as hell for you guys, me just swimming around and picking seaweed until I level. So let me head back to my gear. Put everything in here. 
and then I'll keep it crafting ingots. Eat some shlami. Get some air. And I'll just keep, keep crafting ingots with it right now. Magnesium. Gonna need some promethium. I'm really glad I stopped by that promethium node on the way to get promethium because I'm not finding any promethium rocks on the on the lake in the lake bottom at all. So that's good. That little nest egg of promethium hopefully is going to be enough to power up the base and power up an HV long enough for me to go actually find some more promethium. So you saw me kill a couple guys, so I actually fired my gun this episode. I uh, I actually did. I actually killed some stuff. Let's take a look. So right now I'm level 9. I've killed four things and I have not died yet. So, nice. We're going to leave it here. Uh, next episode will be when I'm, I'll level myself up outside of, uh, the recording. And so off screen, I'm going to get some more resources and keep picking seaweed. Uh, it might take me a while to do. And once I hit level 10, I'll, um, I'll start up the next episode and we'll spawn the base and get that created. So... If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. Uh, until then, I will see you next episode. Take her easy.